So Samsung might have just given us a sneak peek at the future of foldables. And honestly, this might be the first time I've looked at a foldable screen and thought, okay, now we're finally getting somewhere. At CES 2026, Samsung Display quietly showed off a brand new foldable OLED panel, and this thing basically takes the biggest complaint everyone has about foldables, the crease, and almost makes it disappear. When it's unfolded, it genuinely looks like a proper flat tablet screen. You only catch a tiny hint of a bend if you shine light on it in a certain way. In normal use, it's almost invisible. And the crazy part? They showed it right next to what looks like the Galaxy Z Fold 7, so people could directly see the difference. And yeah, the improvement is real. This whole thing came to light thanks to a short hands-on clip shared online by Max Jambor, and if you've been following Samsung's foldables, you'll know the Fold 7 already made things better than before. But this new panel doesn't feel like a bit better. It feels like a big generational jump. Samsung hasn't officially said which device this panel is going into, but come on, the timing basically screams Galaxy Z Fold 8. Reports say Samsung is using a new laser-drilled metal layer under the OLED to spread the folding stress more evenly so the screen doesn't crease up over time like previous models. Some of the prototypes even look like they're using under-display cameras as well, which honestly makes sense if Samsung is really going for that clean, uninterrupted screen look. There's also this interesting side story that Samsung might be developing this tech not just for themselves, but also for Apple's first foldable, which is rumored for late 2026. Nothing is confirmed, but if that's true, then it explains why Samsung is suddenly obsessed with perfection on a foldable display. If Apple is entering the foldable game, Samsung clearly wants to be the one supplying the best display in the industry. Now, if Samsung actually manages to bring this to a real consumer product, it could finally solve the one thing people still complain about on foldables. No obvious crease, no distracting line down the middle, no constant reminder that your screen bends. Instead, the Fold 8 could actually start feeling like a normal tablet when opened. Just one that happens to fold in half. And that's the point foldables have been trying to reach since day one. Meanwhile, Samsung's regular plans seem to be moving along as usual. The Galaxy Z Fold 8 and Galaxy Z Flip 8 are already showing up in databases like the GSMA IMEI listings, so development is clearly underway. Their usual model numbers are appearing, the code names line up with Samsung's previous naming strategy, and everything is pointing toward another late-year launch window like always. But here's where it gets interesting. There's also talk of a mysterious third foldable this year with a different model number, rumored to be a new wide fold variant aimed straight at Apple's upcoming foldable strategy. If that's true, Samsung isn't just preparing to defend the foldable market. They're preparing to dominate it before Apple even officially arrives. Of course, Samsung hasn't confirmed anything yet. No official announcements, no bold statements, nothing. But that's kind of what makes this exciting. Everything is lining up for foldables to hit their next big evolution, and Samsung looks like it wants to be the one leading that charge again. So now the question is, is this finally the moment where foldables stop feeling like future tech experiments and start feeling like proper mainstream devices? Would a nearly creaseless screen actually convince you to switch to a Fold 8? Let me know what you think in the comments because this might just be the year foldables truly level up. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, take care.